Hi everyone, it's Mary here from Mark Reward Craft again and today I'm going to chat a little bit more about my Ashford electric carder. Um, I've had it for a few months now and I'm beginning to get to terms with it and really find out more and more about how it works and it's um, good bits and it's not so good bits but on the whole it's all good now that we've I've come to a terms with it and I've kind of worked it out the best way to use it and at the moment I'm um, going to use uh, this um, demonstration I'm spinning I'm carding should I say um, two different coloured wools which I've um, picked and ready to go and blending them with um, some silk sari waste and then I'm going to pass it through the carder again to get them further blended and um, more smoothly carded. So to do this the carder is on um, the blending cycle which means that I can use it without this lid down. Now having started off I've now discovered really that it goes plenty fast enough doing this. The other thing that I find very handy about it is that I can turn it on and off using my foot. It's got a foot pedal down on the ground, which you can't see, but take my word for it. And I find that very handy because I don't have to switch on and off down here. I just use my foot. Now, when that is open, you have to keep your foot on the pedal or it <coughs> won't work. Uh, but that's fine. And I've also discovered, now I have it positioned here, that when I'm doing the preliminary carding, I use my right foot to keep it going and I start off, I add some of the fleece and this isn't at full speed now, I, it can go faster but that I think is fast enough um, for what I'm doing, I think it's a fair amount there going and right, so that's going through now, I'm now going to change over foot and I'm going to use my left foot and I'm going to add the silk. very important to have the um, brush down, pack a brush down. If that's not down and firmly down, you get a hardly any fleece up onto this back card before it starts coming around here. And also a certain amount will come back onto the um, picker, the um, front roller anyway. And so I've discovered that needs to be firmly down all the time. There we go. So now I would might be I might normally put a little bit more than that down. So just lift the packer brush and change this over so it goes in reverse. Now it's in reverse, and again I use my foot pedal to turn it on. And there we go. Oh, it's ready to go through again. Now I'm just going to show you how fast it can go on the blending. So that that's the speed I had it at, and now I'm going to just turn it up. That's as fast as it can go, which is really faster than I want it to go. Let's slow it down. Now we're going to put the packer brush back down again. Tighten it really well. Okay, and shut up this, and then put it onto the ordinary carding um, process. And then when I put my foot on here, I don't want to keep my foot on. Turn it off again. Now you see how fast it's going now, so I'm going to have to slow that up because that's far too fast. Now, there we go. And just to remind everybody that you need to wear a mask when you're doing anything like this because there's quite a lot of dust. I have an air purifier as well. Other thing about 
your carding machine. It is designed to align the fibers. It is not designed to separate them. So you need to have separated the fibers up before you feed them into your left in your, your carder, otherwise you, you wouldn't wreck it. You would break the carding cross. supply you with a tool to push it in if you want to use it. Push that off now and see what it looks like on the back drum. There we are, there you can see it's starting to gather up on the back drum quite nicely. And then that'll be filled and I'll just show you back when they're finished. There we go. That's the one I've done earlier. Ready for spinning. So really, I'm, I'm actually much happier now I've got the hang of working this machine. I, I was wondering if it would work for me, but in fact, it's fine. It's, um, it's doing well and it's nice and quiet. And the other thing I find with it compared to other um, card as I've had that the wall is not inclined to get it onto the sides here either side of the drums which can happen quite a lot with other card as I've used and that's a really big job to clean that out it will have to be cleaned out occasionally but it's there's no build up yet so that's a, another good um, design part on it and clean on its part yeah. so thank you very much for watching that and um I hope that um, maybe this is be some hope, help for you if you're thinking of getting an electric carder. Thank you.